Good day guys and welcome to my YouTube channel. In my last video tutorial, I talk about how to use two variables data table within an essay. So in today's video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use scenario manager inside of Excel. Here I have the sales quantity which is 200, the price per unit which is 100, the fixed cost and the variable cost per unit which is what 40. So using this four variables i can calculate the word the overall profit and to do that i multiply the sales quantity by the price per unit and subtract the fixed cost and the variable cost which will again multiply by the, the same quantity which is what the sales quantity okay because this is per unit cost so if you go down if you go down and click on the cell basis, which is the profit, and press F2 in your computer, hmm, from your computer, it will take you to the edit mode where you will see all this formula, okay, as B2 multiplied by the wall, B3, which is sales quantity, multiplied by the wall, the price, then minus the fees cost, then minus the variable cost which again multiply by the wall the 40 which is what the multiply by 40 multiply by the wall the sales quantity okay so this as of now give us a profit of a thousand and six hundred now if you want to change one or two variables and see how it impacts in the profitability and if you want to create scenario where you are trying to see how your different scenarios can look like when your sales quantity changes or when your price per unit changes then you can use a scenario manager to do that and to do this go to your data at the top of your screen here and then navigate to the what if analysis section okay note Scenario manager is a better version of one or two variables data data table because it can, it can handle more than three or more variables changing at the same time. So here, for example, let's say I want to check for three scenarios. I will choose the worst case scenario, the best case scenario, and the best possible scenario. So to have this scenario, I will click on the word hard button right up right here and here i'll give let's say i give the name as well the worst case scenario okay 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 so now in this case i will make some changes okay i'll make some changes in this three so which is what the sales quantity the price per unit and the variable cost right here so the fixed cost remain the same so i have to select these three cell right here which is what sales quantity the price and the variable cost per unit okay now if you have more cell then you can select it then then as well and here you can put in any comment if you like and i'm not going to put any comment i will leave this part as it is and i will click on what okay button okay as soon as i click on okay button it opens the scenario value dialog box where i will have to specify this value okay this value in this case you can see that it sells b2 b3 and b5 which are the variable that we have selected and this is not very descriptive and if you like you can name the cell say and then choose the name and the name will appear right here and if you have more than three or four variable then you can also get a scroll bar around here so that in case you add more value you can scroll and put more value values okay in this case which is which is what the worst case scenario let's say the sales value not 
200 i need to be 100 this time around and which is in the and the b3 which is what the price per unit will be 60 okay and the variable cost which is in the cell b5 you may see me go up to 70 okay okay so now when i click on ok it had worst case scenario function here yeah, box here yeah. so and if you want to see how the worst case scenario will look like simply double click simply double click on it and as soon as you double click on it you can see that this value will change okay the sales count is now 100 per unit uh, 100, 100, 100 per unit and the the unit price is worth 60 and the variable cost is now worth 70 so here i'm making a loss of 1400 and whatever it is either in dollar or pound i'm making a loss of what 1400 i can add more scenarios so let me see base case let me see base case and here again the cell b2 b3 and b5 still remain the same i don't want to change it i will click on what okay button okay then it opens the scenario value dialog box again i'll give the original value which is hard earlier here as well in the cell b2 as what 200 then the price per unit to be what 100 and the the variable cost will be 40 okay and i'll click on what okay button okay now let me show you something something else here i will name deals so right here i will name i will name this cell at the name box section here and i'll click on the so let me close the box here i'll click on the cell b2 which is the sales quantity then i will navigate with the word the name box section okay i'll i'll type sales underscore quantity okay in my enter key then my price i will name it as was price enter key then the variable cost i will name it as what variable underscore cost then i will click on what enter key in this case I have this cell name now i'll go back to my data tab then click on the what if analysis then scenario manager so now this time around i'm going to click on what hard button then i'm going to type the best case here and i will leave the cell here and change as soon as i click on ok you can see now you can see now that instead of the cell cell references that I have here i have the cell name so if you have a lot of cell here or you have the cell which are dispersed across the sheet then you can use this techniques of naming the cell and you will have these names appear here okay in this case let me give the best possible scenario the uh, scenario quantity to be 250 okay and the price per unit to be 120 and the the variable cost to be what 40 okay and i'll we'll click on one okay button now i have three 
these three scenarios here you can instantly see how this scenario will affect the profit by double clicking on each and every one of, of these so if i double click on the worst case scenario you can see that it's giving a thousand four hundred loss okay if i click on the word the base case scenario is giving what eleven thousand six hundred as a profit and if i click on the word the best case scenario is giving nineteen thousand six hundred because this value have changed now this is very simple case we have only taken the three scenario boards you may have a lot of scenarios of or your data may not be this simple in that case you may want to generate some out of it so to, to see this how this scenario will look like maybe you will have or like to present it to your manage, management and you want them to analyze each scenario and then opt for the best possible way then you can simply create a summary by clicking on what on the clicking on the summary yeah it, it asks for two options okay when you click on summary it asks for two options either you can have the scenarios summary report or you can have the scenario pivot table report i will show you how this works okay in, in this case you will have to select the say on which on uh, which you are checking the impact so in this case i am selecting the basis because i am looking for the value change in profit okay when i change this different different variables and i will first have to have this scenario summary click as soon as i click on okay it creates okay it creates a new tab you can see it right here it creates a new tab scenario summary and i have all this and now for this value and all this scenario this is formatting this formatting is a pre-populated pre and it's a preset format and that what and that what is exact uses and you will see the summary along with all this scenario and the and the variable cost likewise so in this case we have this variable okay we have these variables right here so in this case we have all these three variables and these are the three possible scenario we can and scenario and you can see that anyone who is looking at the at this will be able to appropriately choose the scenario that matches their situation similarly if i go to the scenario worksheet right here hmm, down here then then i will go to the what if analysis then click on what the scenario manager then click on the summary summary again then i will choose the scenario pivot report this time around so i will then click on what okay so you can see that the i have the pivot table automatically selected right here likewise everything in the pivot table task pin is generated automatically where i can see that in the best case in the best case my profit is what is 11600 and the base is sorry in the best case my trip my profit is 19600 and in the best case i have 11600 and in the worst case i have a minus minus one four one thousand four hundred as it loss so this is how you can quickly create video summary of scenarios and then you using these scenarios you can instantly generate a summary report that you can present and present and you can then identify the best possible scenario so this is how you can use scenario manager in the day i hope you find this video useful thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel as i will keep giving you more of the exact function bye